Hello everyone, my name is Keith, and in this video we're talking about the DJI GO 4 app and the cache space full error coming up while you're filming and flying. This is not a unique error to a Spark or a Mavic or a Phantom, but it is a unique problem to the DJI GO 4 app. So what that means is whenever you go and film something with your drone, a low resolution version is often stored on your device. I think by default this is turned on and it's turned on to never automatically delete the oldest cache. So you'll probably run into this uh, after you start flying and filming a few times depending on the capacity that your app is set at. You can go through and clear this cache but first off what this cache even is is if you go into your DJI Go 4 app and click editor at the bottom and then album at the top, you're able to see a cached low resolution version of your last few flights. And depending on how much space you have on your phone, this can fill up really quickly. So if you want to delete this, you can go into your device, click on general settings, scroll to the bottom and then clear the video cache here. You'll now have no videos in your cache at all. And if you want to disable your cache from ever filling up again, you can do that by unchecking this box at the top that says cache during video shooting. And now the DJI Go 4 app will never store any more cache files to your device that you're using. This needs to be done per device. So if you have a phone and a tablet that you use with one drone, you'll need to do that on both of your apps and it's not just a setting that is remembered by the drone. You can also record video with the cache. So this, I thought at first, was going to film audio from the drone, so I turned this on, but it turns out this does not record from the drone, it records from the mic on the device. So if you are narrating your flight for whatever reason, if you turn this on, it will be included with your low resolution video in your cache, which is kind of cool if you have a unique flight and you wanna narrate what's going on or you have a job where you have to narrate what's going on. Including this is a very easy way to include that audio with your low res video. You can increase your maximum video cache between two and 16 gigabytes. I like to keep mine at eight and to clear automatically once that eight gigabytes fills up. I just wanna say thank you to Bill L in our Facebook group for asking this question. If you have any questions or just want a place to post your work and get critiques or feedback, feel free to join our community group. I will leave it linked below. And thank you for sticking around to the end. I will leave more videos linked in a playlist below as well. So if you wanna watch some more of our videos, feel free to do so, and I'll see you in the next one.